So it usually comes in the outer bag. I'm gonna take the fluid out. And you're gonna, this is a port for injecting. This is a port for your fluid line. So I'll open up my fluid line. This is all sterile under here. So I'm gonna take off the cap so that I'm not gonna to touch anywhere up there. This is also sterile. I'm gonna take off that cap and we're gonna put this in without touching anything until it's fully seated. So now that's in. And now you can see the fluid dripping through the chamber and it's gonna go all down the line. And I am gonna kink it by rolling this wheel all the way down. And so I wanna make sure the fluid has come all the way down the line, which it has. And then I'm going to attach a clean, fresh needle. Again, that part's sterile, the inside's sterile, I'm gonna put it on. And this is a lure lock, so you twist this to make sure the needle itself can't come off when you pull the cap off. And now this is kinked, so the wheel's closed, no fluids dripping. So now I'm gonna go get my patient. So this is Piggy. I'm gonna put him down, reach for the Velcro. Get his neck Velcroed first, nice and firmly. Tuck in his hind legs and his tail. Oh, I lost a little toe back here. I know piggy pigs. And then I'm going to get him straightened, push him a little bit forward. And then I'm going to get this nice and tight. Now normally I do it up here, but because I'm going to do fluids, I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Because I want access to this space. Right, little kid? And so I'm gonna pick up some fur. Now he's a long-haired cat, so this is gonna be tricky to see. But really, I'm picking up a bunch of skin between my thumb and my forefinger, and I'm looking for this sort of divot that I can get my finger in. So I'm gonna use it as if my finger's the needle. I'm gonna go just perpen uh, parallel to the spine, and I'm gonna put the, poke the needle in. All right. Picking up and poking the needle directly through. So now that's in. In his fur, in his skin. And now I'm going to go open up my wheel. And you can see this chamber start to drip. Now it's not dripping really well, so sometimes you have to tinker with the pressure or see if anything else is kinked and why isn't it flowing. And so right now what I did is I moved the needle a little bit because it was probably up against the skin. And now you can see it's flowing well. It's dripping nicely. And so I always just keep a hand on this, but he really can't go anywhere. And I can just really try and settle him in for this. Yeah, I know. And then when I'm done, I'll kink it. And I'll pull the needle directly out. Usually I'll pull a little pressure of where that hole was, just so it doesn't leak out too much. And then he's done, and I'll use a fresh needle the next time. Right, Peggy? You do great, my handsome boy.